but let's go into a little bit of climate change news. Again, there's record-breaking heat in Siberia, um, which doesn't seem to be going away. This is from May 29th, which is today. One of the coldest regions on Earth has been experiencing a record-breaking heat wave in recent weeks amid growing fears about devastating wildfires and melting permafrost. Uh, kind of what we covered a couple days ago, Katanga, a town in Siberia's Arctic Circle, registered highs of over 80 degrees Fahrenheit this week, according to AccuWeather, far above 59 degrees Fahrenheit historical average, as the whole of western Siberia basked in unseasonable warmth. Um, while locals flocked to popular spots to sunbathe, experts sounded alarms about the possible implications for the region's wildfire season this summer, with some blazes already breaking out in recent months. Um, fires burned huge areas in the region last year, and at its peak, smoke engulfed an area larger than the whole European Union, the World Meteorological Organization reported. So let's move on to this article from the Washington Post. Zombie fires are erupting in Alaska and likely Siberia, signaling severe Arctic fire season may lie ahead. Move over mur murder hornets, hornets, murder hornets. I don't know why that's difficult for me to say. There's a new 2020 phenomenon to worry about. The bitterly cold Arctic winter typically snuffs out the seasonal wildfires that erupt in this region. But every once in a while, a wildfire comes along that refuses to die. These blazes, known as zombie fires or holdover fires, can burrow into the rich organic material beneath the surface, such as the vast peatlands that ring the Arctic and smolder under the snowpack throughout the frigid winter. With the Siberian Arctic seeing record warm conditions in recent weeks and months, scientists monitoring Arctic wildfire trends are becoming more convinced that some of the blazes erupting in the Arctic this spring are actually left over from last summer. Shudder to think. Last year brought a record surge in fires to a region that is warming at more than twice the rate of the rest of the world. The Arctic contains vast stores of carbon and other planet warming greenhouse gases in its soils in peat as well as frozen soil known as permafrost that can be freed up through combustion. Peatlands are wetlands that contain ancient decomposed and partially decomposed organic matter. According to Mark Parrington, senior scientist and wildfire expert at the Euro European Union's Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service, recent Arctic fire detections have been found in areas where blazes were burning last summer, which lines up with regions affected by warmer than average and unusually dry surface conditions. We know from climate data provided by C3S that the Arctic Circle region, uh, most affected by fires in 2019, were experiencing warmer and drier surface conditions, providing the ideal environment for fires to burn and persist, Parrington said in a news release referring to the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Scientists such as Parrington use satellite sensors to detect hot spots that could indicate wildfire activity. We have seen satellite observations of active fires that hint that zombie fires might have reignited. Yet it was not it has not been confirmed by ground measurements, Parrington said. The anomalies are quite widespread in areas that were burning last summer. If this is the case, then under certain environmental conditions we may see a cumulative effect of last year's fire season in the Arctic, which will feed into the upcoming season and could lead to large-scale and long-term fires across the same region once again, he continued. Um, red hot. The stove that is Russia, Eastern Europe, Siberia, etc. Mike Flanagan, a fire researcher of the University of Alberta, says zombie fires are not unheard of. Citing the destructive Fort McMurray fire in Alberta, that burned for more than a year during 2016 and 2017. Fires are popping up earlier this year. Some of the fires that burned through winter, Flanagan said in an interview in April, fire technicians riding snowmobiles found a zombie fire 
smoldering near Willow, Alaska, and the officials have been on the lookout for other similar zombie blazes. North Central Siberia experienced record heat last week, which came on the heels of a record warm winter. Several stations in North Central Siberia, including areas near or above the Arctic Circle, saw temperatures climb well into the 80s. Um, there you go. Along with COVID-19 and other uh, you know, fun things that humans are dealing with right now, we have the frightening specter of zombie fires. Raza Remen says 58 likes. One of them was me. You're welcome. Thank you, Raza. 82 watching. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Somebody dislike. I don't care. There are like super sad people that like follow this channel just so that they can dislike it. I don't know. People that, you know, need some kind of need a hug or they need some emotional help or maybe they need some therapy. I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care. But, you know, it happens. Uh, if you're if you're on the Internet, if you're on social media, if you're saying anything ever at all, somebody's going to say, no, thank you. So if you're, you know, I'm not really all that upset by it. If you're upset by it, I don't know. That's just, that's just life. That's life, kid. Hey guys, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can also support the channel at the links below. PayPal, Square, and Patreon. Also, um, all of my live streams are available for listening on Patreon if you happen to miss them during the day. So um, you can sign up for my Patreon for as little as a dollar. If you want to go check out the live streams, they are all there. Thanks a lot.